God damn it, this is take four because I keep fucking messing up because Camtasia's stupid. Okay, so we have camera, we have new composition, we have two compositions, one for the clips, one one for the uh, splitting the clips, and one for actually editing. So I already have three clips here. One, two, three, and there's a fourth one all the way down here. I need to drag in. Okay, and we're gonna try to transition these one of these. I just chose useful clips. So you add a camera, make sure that when you're here before you split the clips, they are uh, set to 3D layering and motion blur if you so choose. I freaking hate this song. Nope. Um. Ah, find a good song. Not bad. Okay, so to transition, first you take the camera. Since you already have a set position, point of interest, position, Z rotation. You take that, you right click, uh, keyframe velocity. Oh, wait. Right there, right click. Oh, I found it before. Uh, keyframe assistant, ease, ease. So, F9. Which allows uh, smoother, I think. Transitioning? I don't know. I don't know the exact details on it. I'm tired. Um, so you have that. So I can slide that over, actually. I can actually just slide it to directly to the transition area. It should be like right there. There, I can slide this down there so it matches up. I can split this clip. Don't need it. Let's keep it there for now. And then this I can like extend by like, you like right here. I don't know. Okay. And you don't have to worry about anything else for now. Just focus on these like th three. One, two, three. I think. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. So let's say you want to transition this right here. So you want to take this uh, mask. Actually, no. Let's take the this tool. Fuck! 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 fuck. Uh, uh, one, two, three. This is very rough. One, two, three, four. I don't know. I'm not gonna count anymore. That! 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 that, that. Make it freaking. I don't care. Alright, then you take that, drag that down, mass. I should probably open this a full screen. Um, instead of add, make it subtract. And then, you take this clip itself, you move it. So let's open it up a bit. Something like that. Let's turn it, because I like turns. So let's transform. I think it's Z rotation, yeah. That works, right there. And then right where the the Shinji clip ends, you do that and you take ooh, what the hell? Okay. You go back to camera one and you change it, you alter it. So Z change it back. Show it straight or whatever you want it. Move it. Move it. That. Good enough. Okay, so now it looks like that, right? Let's just ram render it real quick. Look at that. Real, real smooth. So I see they got like black spots here and there, right? Black spots. There, 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 there. Now, to somewhat like fix that, well, first off, let's do this. Take this clip, uh, go to effects, repe, 
Reptile, CC Reptile. Uh, drag it onto that clip. And then go to the black part. Uh, when CC Reptile is on, go to check clip horizontal. Oh my god, this music. Shut up, Room 5. Nope, I don't like you either. You're alright. Rise against. Okay, check clip horizontal. Expand right. Expand left. And there. Also, and then, if you see, like, uh, vertical, you just add Reptile again to the same clip. Instead of check flip horizontal, check flip vertical. Expand up. Expand down. Now, what I did, that's not exactly good right there. But, essentially what I just did was I made, like, here, I'll do this. I made, like, that. You mean, like, um like copies of itself to mirror itself but if you're doing a, such a pan as it's this it's really not that noticeable at all if you do it well enough but for now that's very rough so keep that there for now take the Sinji clip and apply the same thing because I absolutely spam this when I edit now so horizontal it's left right Vertical. And if it's fast enough, then no one's really gonna notice it. See? Okay, so you have that. Keep that open. Now you take. Uh, take Angel Fight. Uh, you copy it. The, yeah, the Ray Clip. Control V. Copy over. You take one of the layers and so subtract you put none all right that works and in that one see it affects only the mask so you take opacity start at a hundred I don't know it started um, zero and then you slowly when you get to like here maybe you go to 100 All right and then you go up to here because I messed up you clean up the mask a little bit with repetio because I messed it up this one the horizontal should be less to the left or more no less Also, what you can do to cover some of it up, it's not preferred, that's why I like this is very situational, is zoom in a little bit during the, uh, the pan, transition, transition, do that. Let's see how that looks. That. Can you find me? Okay. That seems good. All right. And that's pretty much the gist of it. So you have this. That's pretty much like a three, four layer step. So that. There we go. Real smooth. Transition from Sinji to Ray through that little window right there. It's just a simple mask. Right there. It's literally a blob that I made. There. And there's also that. If you do her... The edge maybe, like, like that. Uh... Usually shapes work really well. Okay. And I think that's about it as far as that. Oh, see, I messed up right there. So what you do, you take your reptile and you expand it to the left. 
Oh no. Oh no, that's yeah, that's underneath. That's this layer. Let's see. The uh, the underneath the layer underneath with the mass that's set to none. You kind of want to maybe exp uh, for the repetio expand it a bit farther because otherwise you'll see like a very faint line like that, and you don't want to see that at all. See, so expand that. So there's bubbles. Slowly turn. Pink, 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 and then you're there. Easy enough. I'm not gonna render this because I don't need to. And that should be s simple. I mean, there's many ways you can do this. You just have to experiment with it. I oh, messed that up. Her face like shrunk, scrunched down. Well, there you go, Buttercup Lloyd person, you.